Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and there's gonna be some Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I just, you know, I just decided to get into the mood of Call of Duty recording just because uh, they actually announced that Call of Duty 4 is gonna be coming back. It's gonna be called Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. It's the only thing that sucks about that is that it's gonna be part of the new Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, which honestly I was probably going to get, but making everyone buy Infinite Warfare just to get Call of Duty 4 rem Call of Duty Remastered again. Or uh, Modern Warfare the Remastered again is just pretty petty. And it's just like, why would you do that? You know, it's just it's just gonna be annoying. Nobody's really gonna care for the new game. They're gonna think that the move was honestly just a marketing move. Which let's be honest, it probably was just a marketing move. Also, nice capture there. Um, and people aren't gonna like you for that, man. I think at this point I was just trying to get. Yeah, I was just trying to get like the challenges done. And I was just like, okay, what what challenges do I need? You know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stick with the VMP. Just gonna go for the win. Don't really care about uh doing some doing the uh, challenges to get stuff. I'm just, I just want to go for the win at this point because honestly, I had been going for challenges for so long that I was kind of getting sick of just losing over and over because uh, I had teammates that honestly didn't really hold up their own. Even when I went for challenges, I would go usually I would go even if not slightly positive. Sometimes I would go negative, I'm not gonna lie, uh, especially when I was doing the knifing stuff. That took me the longest time to get. Just the knifing one was probably like two or three prestige master levels just to get the normal stuff. And then, you know, on top of that, you have to get like all the special ones, like getting the five streak melee attack stuff in a row. And that one was annoying to get. Now, if you guys are actually looking to, for some like advice to that, um, I would recommend you guys honestly just go for the the class that makes you run very fast just because honestly it's, it's pretty pretty useful and it helps you go from point A to point B much faster and at the same time as well it's also just good because it gives you a lot more mobility now the other class that I would recommend you guys go for if you want to go for the, uh, the nightmare challenges is the, uh, the camo just because when you have the camo you have a lot more uh, flexibility of what you can and can't do just for the simple fact that they don't really know where you are. And I think I was, yeah, I was also going for the hive challenge at this point as well. I was just kind of like, you know what? I just, I need to put my hive everywhere possible that people will be going to. And since this is their place, I just decided, you know what? I'm just gonna put it all over the place here. And I think I actually managed to get one of the hive challenges done in this game as well, if I remember correctly. I'm not sure exactly if that's true or not. Uh, yep, there's a second one. <laughs> Dude, that's a lot of hive challenges that I'm getting done. There, I'm just throwing it out there because I know for a fact it's probably going to be something here pretty soon. And there's a third one. Dude, what? Do these guys not know how to you know, count, count the, the hives? Like, honestly, it's not that hard. You, you can literally see the hives, like where the hives are. And at that point, you just have to stay away from them. Also, I honestly just run the, uh, the UAV care package and counter UAV combo just for the sheer fact that I just I just like running support with my teammates because I'm going to be honest, they don't really know what they're doing most of the time. And making a support uh, street thing is just good because it gives them the chance to get more kills. Granted, it's not going to help them out too much because, yes, it's going to reveal where enemies are and it's going to hide their presence at the same time, but... If they don't know how to shoot, it's not really going to affect what happens too much, you know? If they don't have reaction time, it's not really going to help them out. And, uh, yeah, I just kind of, I kind of reached that conclusion, like, a few days ago. I was just like, you know what? It's not going to affect them, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to worry about me. I'm just going to do class, a class, rather, that affects me. And they could just do their own thing. I'm just going to focus on me, just get, go for my and stuff. I, I recently changed my class setup. It's basically now I don't run any more UAV counter UAV and care package. But excuse me. Now I run the uh, the guardian, the what's it called, the turret thing, not the turret thing, the um, the moving turret. I forgot what it's called, the little robot thing. I run that, and then for my other one, I run the hater, just because the hater one is useful as hell because it shows us everything where the enemies are, the direction that they're facing, and there's no possible way that they can actually hide from them. Uh, just look at this guy, man. You, these are the people that just annoy the crap out of me. They don't really know how to play, so they're just 
playing all sneaky like, and it's just, it's just frustrating as all hell. Just for the fact that it's like, what are you doing, man? You're really just hiding, trying to get your, your win, essentially just by hiding in a corner and stuff. It's just like, what are you doing, man? You're just, you're just making the community that much worse. You know, it's annoying as all hell. Anyways, this game mode was actually from a long time ago, so I don't actually remember what happened. I just remember that uh, I played pretty well for a capture the flag game mode, and as you guys can see, I'm level 55 already. And I think that is prestige level 9. So this is before I became like a master prestige or anything like that. Actually, no, that might be that might be prestige 10. I'm not really sure one way or the other. Um, so yeah, this game mode pretty fun if you play with teammates or if you you just have a really good streak going on. Like honestly, like I did. Uh, if you don't have any good teammates, or if you're, you're playing bad, just stay away from this game mode. You're just gonna end up getting really frustrated at this. Uh, just for the simple fact that if you're not playing really well in Captain Flag, chance Star, you're probably just gonna keep getting wrecked over and over and over, which is not something that you want to happen to you, you know? Because if you keep getting wrecked, you're just, you're just gonna have a bad time. Nothing really is gonna go over that well for you. And it's just it's just gonna be annoying with all hell to deal with. Yeah, at this point I saw that guy and I was just like, okay, please come in. And I just got two of them for some reason. While wow, they both went into that through that door, one of them came in from the bottom, one of them came in from the uh, side. Here I was just playing distraction just to try to make sure that my teammates actually got the flag there, which they managed to get. And I got I managed to get two more hive kills. Holy crap! What's going on, man? Okay, I think this is the actual game mode that I managed to get my, uh, the, the hero challenge done, if I remember correctly. Because the, I was struggling with the hive one for forever. And then the other one that I was struggling with as well was the, uh, I managed to take up the purify there. I, mean, I died to it, but if you get hit once by the purifier, that's when you're dead. There's no way out of it. Um, but yeah, I managed to get the purifier. What was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. I was just pathetic on both of parts. I had no idea what was going on there. The other two guys were ready for me, though. And honestly, at this point, I, just, I was just under the mind. You know what? We just have to defend the flag. We don't even have to go for another flag cap. As long as we defend it, we're good. Because there's no real way that they can win other than capping a flag. And, uh, you know, if we play defensively well, there's not much they can do, you know? There's, they're literally just going to get pooped on. At this point, I'm just like, okay, he's e either going to go behind it, which he did manage to do. I managed to hear him the last second, which is probably bad. But uh, I did manage to hear him, which is a good thing. And then at that point, I was just like, okay, crap. We might be going into an overtime, so... Uh, yeah, he's going to get the cap. He got the cap. Okay, we got the cap, too. So now we just have to take it all the way over. He's going to go off on the side. He's going the wrong way. He just died. That was just pathetic. You know, as as it happens. And at this point, I'm just like, okay, we really just need to stop him from making the cap there. Just kill him, cap to the flag, or retake the flag. And uh, wait for my teammate here to run. People are probably going to chase after him, so... Where are the people? Are the people not here? They're not here. Okay, I will just cover my ass. I'm also going to make it hard for them to capture, because if they run this way, you know, it's, it's just going to be bad. They're going to end up running into it, and I'm just like, okay. <laughs> At that point, I was just like, you know what, I just want my hive to kill you. Try to get as many challenge, as much of this challenge done as possible. In retrospect, the, the smart thing, honestly, would have just been to stay back and just let the hive kill them and then pick up the flag immediately. But, uh, yeah, they managed to capture a flag there. Crap. Okay, so now they're ahead. Wait, how? Seriously, how does this end? How does this end? Okay, cool. Teammates are taking the flag. They all die. Okay. My teammate just got wrecked. Seriously, what, what am I thinking? Time's about to be over. Do we end up losing this? I really don't even remember, man. How does this end? 
Dude, I'm genuinely just conf That was just horrible aiming on that guy's part. He has to turn his sensitivity down. No, seriously though, how, how did this game all end? I don't, I don't remember it ending badly. But apparently it's gonna end badly. Can we make a last second cap? Oh shit, we might actually make the last second capture. Yeah, I think we're gonna make that last second capture. I managed to kill most people there. There's the purifier guy, he just got wrecked. And... Yep, we actually made the last second capture. Holy crap, dude. I don't remember this game being that close. Also, why am I the only one that has the returns? Seriously? I have five returns, man. That should not be the case at all, man. You guys should be doing your own part. Like, at least one return per person or just one return for anyone else, man. I, I can't be the only guy that's doing returns. That's not how this game mode works, man. If you rely on one guy to do all the, the returns, you're not really going to end up going anywhere in life, man. It's not going to end well for you. Also, at this point, I'm just like, you know what? Okay, we just got to get the capture as fast as possible. I'm going to make it hard for them to get the capture. Um, actually, no, it's whoever captures the flag wins. Yeah. Now that I think about it, yeah, it's literally whoever catches the flag first. That's it. That's the game, I think. I could be wrong about that. But I, I, at this point, I was just like, you know what? I just, gotta, I just have to play defensively. Have to make sure that nobody takes our flag here. There you go. Good cap. End of dying there. Okay. And I think my guardian actually stops one of them. Yeah, there you go. Guardian assist. And there we go. We won. Wow, that was pretty. That was pretty. Pretty nice. And is there overtime? Like, is there a second overtime, or is it just? Is it just the first one and that's it? But yeah, that's what I meant. Literally, I, I put that guardian there on purpose just for the fact okay we do have another overtime uh just for the fact that it would basically stop them from um being able to run past the flag picking it up and keep running they would be forced to actually stop there for at least half a second or one second and go through the, the wave thing so i was just like you know what that's a smart move if i put it there it's basically oh yeah Basically, it's going to force them to go through uh, my hive, and at this point, I'm just like, okay, there's good, they're just going to pop in all over here, so I'm just going to put my hives all over this area. They're, they're going to be forced to go through here. Worst case scenario, I end up dying, but my hives are still there to protect, and best case scenario, they do their job and kill everyone that's there. Also, we met, we were about to get the second capture. Dude, we were on fire that game mode. Uh, anyways. Thank you guys very much for watching. I do appreciate it. I will see you guys in the next video. No idea where, how long this video, or why this video was so long. I do apologize for that, but I'm just putting it out there for you guys to watch. Pro guys probably aren't going to watch it. But anyways, I appreciate you guys sticking around, whoever does. And I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, thank you guys for watching. Take care, and goodbye, sus.